Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to test an overload relay using our Fluke 179 through RMS multimeter. Now before we get to the testing, let's identify some of the terminals on our overload. If you look carefully, you'll see we have L1, L2, L3. These terminals would be coupled to the output of our contactor as we have here to form what is termed as a starter. At the lower end we have our T1, T2, T3 which would go to our load which is usually our three phase motor. On top we have our NC auxiliary contacts labeled 9596 and our normally open contacts labeled 9798. If you look above you will have our reset or trip reset Currently we are set to automatic, but we could also use it in our manual reset mode. We have our trip class selector switch set to 3.1 amps currently and also our trip test selector switch. This can be used to simulate a trip of our overload to test if our overload is functioning properly. Now let's get to the testing. Ideally, on an overload, we should always have continuity between L1 and T1, L2 and T2, L3 and T3. Also, we should have our normally closed contacts 95 to 96 being closed and our normally open 97 to 98 remaining open in an untripped or normal operation of our overload. Now, let's test our overload to see if we have met those conditions. Now I'm going to measure from L1 to T1. We have an OL. So with that first test, I already know that this overload is no good. Let's test L2 to T2. We have an OL. So we have two open so far. L3 to T3. We have continuity. So we only have one good connecting leg in our overload so far. Now let's test our normally closed auxiliary contact. 95 to 96, we have continuity. 97 to 98, OL. So that's good so far. Now let me show you how you'd simulate a trip condition of an overload. When an overload trips, the normally cl closed contacts would open, thus removing power from our contactor, thus preventing damage to our motor or our load circuit. So let's see how we simulate a trip condition of, an, of a normal overload relay. 95 to 96, as you can hear the beep, we have continuity. Now I'll move my test selector switch. OL and that is how you use your test your trip test selection on your overload thank you for watching like share and subscribe